Well, brethren, welcome to my 2023 Christmas message. And you find me here at uh, the wonderful Glenmore House over at Surbiton, run by Robbie and Faye. I'm sure you've all been here at some point or another, but if you haven't, give it a visit because it is a truly amazing Masonic Centre. Another Christmas. Uh, I don't know with the advancing years, Christmas seems to come faster and faster every year. And here we are again. But of course, you all appreciate this will be my last uh, message to you as your provincial grandmaster and grand superintendent, as I will be retiring on the 4th of February, the very next day at Freemasons Hall. Nick Berger is to be invested as my successor. I know that you will join with me in congratulating Nick uh, on taking up that office. And I hope that everybody can be in Freemasons Hall on the 5th of February to support him on that very special day for him and of course, most importantly, for the province. Um, of course, it's been another very, very busy year in the province and everybody's been at hard at work dealing with the key issues of membership challenge, uh, rolling out pathway and all the myriad of other offices that we fill each year. So I thank each and every one of you for all the hard work that you've put in yet again to make it another successful year. And of course, most importantly, to make the province the success it is. I hope you agree with me that at the moment it feels as if there is something of a buzz around the province and everybody's really enjoying their masonry, which is the most important aspect. But looking to the future, it's going to be a fantastic year in 2024 with your, under your, with your new leader in Nick. And I'm sure that he will bring in new innovation and his own personal style to the job. So, brethren and companions, it only remains for me to wish you, your families and your friends a happy Christmas and a wonderful, peaceful New Year.